I spoke to our client who is in beauty e-com store who generated 5 mil in the last two months. Here's what we did to take them there. Number one, customer research. Number two, offer change. Number three, proper ad account structure. Nothing complicated, just patience and the right strategy. So let's dive into the full breakdown. Number one, customer research. We checked all of their post-purchase survey, ad comments, subreddits, customer reviews, as well as competitor reviews on Amazon. We did that to find out why people are actually buying the product and what problems do they have. We use all of the data to craft our messaging, both on the website and in the ads. Number two, offer change. Offer change had the biggest impact in trajectory of this business in this case. We turned around their profitability on front end by 3x just by simple offer change and by introducing bundles. We analyzed their cohorts and checked number one best selling products and the products people would usually buy together. This client is in the skincare industry and they had some serious issues with their AOE. Actually, relationship of the CPA to their AOE. Their LTV was decent, but they were losing a lot of money on the front end. Something needed to be changed, especially considering middle of the summers when CPMs are usually cheaper in all the super competitive skincare industry. And these lower CPMs would allow us to get our learnings faster. With bundles, we counted on increasing the AOV, protecting their margins, getting more room on Facebook side with already high CPA. So we combined a few bundles. Number one, a hero product combined with another product. This is a great way for people interested in one product to test another product and potentially start using that other product on a regular basis. Bundle number two, a hero product with two to four months supply. This was a great way for people to stock up on the product they are already super interested and in using regularly. We created variations of two, three and four months supply and we use price anchoring to get them to buy a largest bundle. So the difference between third and the fourth bundle was not big so people most likely choose the fourth one, which definitely helped with our AOV. Number three, brand had some products they want to clear. In order to make this offer interesting, we needed an offer with a larger discount than on the other bundles. So here's an additional tip. With this offer, with a very big discount, we included a small sample of a few different products on top of that. So there are a couple of upside of this. Number one, the user is pleasantly surprised because he gets a sample of another product. Number two, you get a customer potentially hooked on another product they would buy again. So what were the results and what were our next steps? The overall best seller was the bundle with a hero product and a few months supply. As expected, price anchoring worked so people were more likely to buy four months supply and it had a higher discount and it looked like an irresistible offer and a no-brainer. This worked like a charm on paid social. So the next step was to keep this bundle on the website as a part of their regular offer but test with a smaller discount. Bundle with the products that we wanted to clear had okay results but more from the own audience, basically people that were subscribers and existing buyers, not so great on the paid social side. It was hard to get this product profitable considering the high discount we offered. So the next step for this bundle was leave it on the website but don't run any ads for it. Number three, account structure. We launch each of the offer with a static and the best video about certain product with the video having a text overlay like a meme style communicating the offer. Each bundle was in its own campaign so we can easily identify the difference in the CPM, CPC, click-through rate, ultimately AOV and ROS. Besides that, in the ad account we did these following five things. Number one, fixing all the gaps and better decision making. I started doing proper optimization both on the ad set level and on the ad level, verifying the data with the third-party tracking software. I also identify early indicators KPI based on the historical data so we can minimize the losses earlier, especially when we had a, such a high AOV. You can find that calculator in the video here. Number two, restructuring the ad account. I gradually implemented my ad account structure. I started relying mostly on broad and winning interest tag. Also, Advantage Shopping Plus played a massive role, both in the percentage of overall budget budget and the performance, but as mentioned several times, I made sure to cap the buyers to 0%. Number three, 
ads. Besides the offer and the bundle ads, I found eight winning ads from the past six months and I started running them on prospecting while using the post ID. That enabled me to have lower CPC drastically because the social proof was carried in all of the ads, no matter what ad set they were running. Number four thing that we changed, new angle ideas. The messaging was pretty vague before. We started using the words that our customers mentioned in their reviews in our ads. Our prospects started to resonate with ads even more and then we also incorporated those into website and number five testing framework i started using abo testing where each of the tests is a new ad set group either by concept or style with two to five variation which actually maximizes our chances of finding a winning creative then i took the post id and i also started them running into advantage shopping plus same what i did with the previous winners if this is something that you want to be implemented in your ad account and your econ brand are spending at least 50k a month book a call with me below if you're not yet on that level just like and subscribe for more useful content like this.